Hello, everyone. I'm Diane Yetter with the Sales Tax Institute, and welcome to our to watch in sales tax. And today I am thrilled to welcome uh, Amanda Cusack, who was one of our sales tax nerd finalists for 2021. So thrilled to have her. Amanda is the indirect tax manager with Maui Jim Sunglasses in Pure in Hawaii, where most people would think Maui Jim sunglasses would be, right, Amanda? Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, so welcome. It's great to have you here. Well, thank you so much for inviting me, Diane. I was really excited to hear you'd like to talk to me about this, and I always enjoy our conversation, so I'm happy to be here. Wonderful. So, Amanda, why don't you tell everybody what Maui Jim does, because it's a little bit different than maybe what people think. Mm -hmm. retail store. And then what is your specific role there? Sure. Yeah. A lot of people um, hear Maui Jim sunglasses and they think that we just sell sunglasses and uh, that's not true. We also sell prescription eyewear as well um, in sunglasses and regular glasses now. Um, and we're mainly a wholesale distributor. Um, we do have a few retail locations, but um, we're mostly selling through um, opticians and other um, places as a resale distributor. So um, my role there as indirect tax manager is that I have global responsibility for all indirect taxes as it kind of leads itself to. Um, but what that means for us is that I have oversight for our US, US sales tax compliance, as well as VAT and GST in about 15 different countries. Um, and that is, you know, from knowing the laws to knowing the configuration in our ERP system to managing our sales tax software engine as well. And then finally, it's, you know, researching if there's any new jurisdictions that come up, which we know in the indirect tax world happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. So is there something that you've accomplished in the uh, indirect tax, not just sales tax, <laughs> proud of? Yeah, and it actually is in sales tax. Um, as I mentioned, you know, we're mainly a wholesale distributor, so we have lots and lots of exemption certificates that we have to manage. And a few years ago, I led a project where we set out to collect all missing exemption certificates for any of our accounts that maybe we didn't have something on file or didn't have you know, an up-to-date form on file. And some of our customers have been with us since the beginning of time, which is also a lot longer than people think, like it's pre-2000s. Um, and so I led our accounts receivable team and a few others um, over about a six month project where we filled in all the gaps across all of our active US customer base to collect exemption certificates. And um, it was a pretty big feat because we have a pretty big customer base, but it all, you know, the biggest thing there is we drastically reduced our audit exposure from doing that. And We've had audits since then and just like the, they come in and they're like, oh, you have everything. <laughs> um, so thinking about women working in the sales tax field and maybe more in the wholesale space and, you know, even the global space, any mm -hmm. advice that you would have? Um, I have a couple things like one, never stop learning, which I know a lot of people say, but it's true. There's, there's so much to learn in the indirect tax space and it's always changing. And so you, you just always have to stay educated, you know, grab onto any resources you can find, especially um, if you want to think about the wholesale industry. A lot of times we're solo in our um, mm -hmm. space. I'm the only one that does indirect tax at Maui Gym, and, you know, we're a fairly large company to be able to say that. So um, you have to find your community and it's mm -hmm. out there, especially with sales tax nerd community. Um, and also always follow your passion. I found uh, I found sales tax kind of on accident. I started out as a staff accountant and got the opportunity to work in sales tax and I loved it. And now I have turned that into my entire career. And so if you're passionate about something, you know, you just have to go after it and you can really carve your own space in this industry. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure chatting with you. And uh, we will be back again in a couple of weeks with our next episode. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again, Amanda. Thanks, Diane.